E.R. Webster says, I have an Apocalypse C7. I love the way it looks, plays, sounds, and feels, but I have an issue with being a neck heavy. Thoughts on uh, how to remedy the issue? Yeah, the biggest thing to do, because it's probably because the body's light. Is it light? You know, in the neck heavy strap. You got to get a nice leather strap, something that will grip your shirt and hold. Uh, and that helps a lot. Um, I've seen, so, you know, I, I, this is a good kind of like story time with Phil kind of minute for, for repairs. You know what I've seen over the years that I just, at the first time, maybe it shocked me, maybe the next 10, but when you see it 50, 60 to hundred times and people put all kinds of weights in their guitars, I've seen people. So, you know, I've opened enough cavities in guitars. We open up and there's like bags of buckshot in there. Let's see what I've seen. What have you seen? I've seen bags of buckshot. I've seen, um, weights, little metal weights put in there. I've seen, um, I don't know, like brass, like not brass knuckles, but like hunks of brass just shoved in guitars. People just put weight in the guitars to, to do that. I, I'm not a big fan of that. I would just get a better strap, invest in a nice strap. Um, that's what I would uh, do. So there you go. You are. But uh, now, you know, if you were to stick buckshot in your guitar, you would not be alone. Um, I've even seen not once, but twice I've seen somebody who took a drill, uh, like a drill press and drilled a couple holes in the guitar and then put steel, uh, like slugs in the holes. <laughs> so when you look at the back, there's just like steel slugs off topic. Just funny. I'll tell you the, the, the greatest, um, uh, like Jerry rig I've ever seen to the day where I, I'm not making fun of it. I still applaud it. It amazes me to this day. I had a guy come in the store once and his acoustic guitar. And what happened was he didn't know the acoustic guitar had a truss rod. He was new to guitar. He didn't know what a truss rod was, you know, right? This is early 2006 or seven, you know, YouTube wasn't like it is now where you can just watch a video of a guy showing you a truss rod. This guy had an acoustic guitar. There was no tension on the truss rod at all. It wasn't tight at all. So what happened was he, at, he went to a music store and somebody in the music store, not, not, not me, <laughs> sold him some 13 gauge strings. So he put 13 gauge strings on an acoustic guitar that had uh, no tension on the truss rod. So you can imagine now you have a bow and arrow, right? The guitar is buckled in. So how did he solve this? He did not. He did. He did. He did not go to a music store. He did not look at YouTube because it didn't exist as well. He took bungee cords. I just want to make sure I see myself so I can show you. He took bungee cords, two of them, like they have hooks, and he hooked them on the headstock, and then he ran them back behind the guitar, and then he hooked them over the guitar, and the bungee cords pulled the guitar flat. Now the action was still a little high because it wasn't enough tension. So he brought it in, and he he only brought it in to get a string put on it because he broke a string and he needed a string. And when I saw this guitar, I was so enamored by it. I was just like, because you know why? Because you, your instinct is, you know, you idiot. Why did you put bungee cords on it? But the reality is he's a problem solver, right? He could have, he could have quit guitar. He could be like that. I can't play guitar. So I, he, that guy went into his garage and said, how do I get this to do this? And just because he wasn't educated about the subject, he found a fix. And sometimes that's the mantra I love, which is use what you got. And if, if it's a little bit of information, a little bit of tools, use what you got sometimes, you know, and so the reality is, and uh, just to add to the story, I actually set up his guitar and I did it for free because I just thought that was the coolest thing ever. So uh, there's my story about the crazy bungee board. I, I wonder now sometimes like now that I have a channel, I wonder if some of these people that I've met and had these experience, I wonder if they watch now. If you're ever watching bungee cord guy, I love you. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So what else do we got going on? <laughs> if you enjoyed this podcast clip, you can watch the full episode by clicking the link down below on YouTube or listen to it on your favorite podcasting platform, whether that's iTunes, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, Spotify, you name it. It's on that platform. Thank you guys for supporting this podcast till the next time. Know your gear.